make your own invoice for your own side hustle, your own business, or in your place of work. It's very easy to do. Let's go and look at this one that we're going to recreate with the original and make it our own. So what we're going to go to into is to template. And then we're going to write in the word invoice. And while we're in there, we're going to find a template that really shines to us. But I always like to look for simple template ideas rather than a bit tricky. So we're going to go for this one. Okay, so it is by Summer Design. And if you wanted to use that as is and sell it, you can. But it means that if you sell it, it needs to be sold with the link and the person will get a clip of the ticket, so to speak. Let's customize this template. And that is the original that I that I really like. It's simple and it's nice. Let's make it big enough so we can have a look. All right, so in an invoice, it's got all our details. It's got their details up top, the date, the number of invoice that it is, the date, the item that you have sold or you have the service you've provided, the price you've charged, quantity and total. And you've got a few down there if you've got a number of services that you created. You've also got the total and I'm going to copy and paste again because we're going to put room for taxes. Plus we've got our details down here and we've got payment methods down here as well and I'm going to change this over so let's start with the invoice title it's a little bit bold for me so I'm going to select it and then go up to this transparent button and make it less bold I'm going to change the font to something a little bit more I quite like that it's just plain invoice that looks good now this little line I'm going to command C or control C and command V which means paste it's actually done the invoice again okay let's go out of there and I need to actually grab that again so control C and control V paste and I'm going to make that above it to zhuzh it up to make it look good okay so that's really what I've done okay now I'm going to put the date so this is a little bit fictitious okay so you put the date let's just say this is your 56th invoice for the year you need to itemize that so they've got a copy and they've got a copy and you know what you're referring to so you're billing to for me I'm gonna make this up sometimes Canva can be a little bit tricky, but we're going to make it a little bit big so Sherwood School can see that they're important. And then we're going to change their address. Okay, so we've got the address down. All of that is good to go. We're going to change this and actually make it a nice color. That might be a bit bright. So I'm going to go into here and just take it down a notch. That's fine. And we're going to select them all. I did that with shift and then we're going to change the colors. We're going to do the same down here, change the colors. And so far that looks quite good. You can even change this if you wanted to and make that the pink color and make it darker if you wish. Okay, we've got to put our own address. All right, so we've got our email address, phone number, our address, where we live. Payment methods can be a number of ways. I've got a bank account here that they can pay. So that is internet banking. Uh, Americans, I think, use checks a lot. In my country, we don't use them anymore. We just do direct banking or credit card, that sort of thing. But you can put check down here if you wish. So we're almost done. However, over here it says total. Having said that, we need to pay taxes. So we're going to command copy and command V, put that below, and then we're going to put taxes here. I know, crazy as it is in my country, we pay 15% GST, goods and services tax. So let's say that the data is, the item is, And I could charge for other services down here if I wished with the date, the price, the quantity, etc. I'll keep that at $500. And down here, 15% is, should be $75. And the total is $575 all up. And so I might move that down here. Thank you. Make it smaller. You might want to put, you have 14 days to pay, 7 days, 14 days, 21 days depending on your own laws, your country's laws, your state's laws. And then at the bottom, I might put another line. 
So this is a line that you can get out of elements over here. And as you can see, they're already sort of highlighted. Copy, paste, and we're gonna drag it down. Again, we're just zhuzhing it up, making it look good. And one thing I need to insert up top here, I'm gonna move the invoice over so I can put my logo in. So we're gonna go up to where I've uploaded my logo, pop that in, classroom faves. And I think my invoice is pretty good to go. It's very simplistic, it's simple, but it's understandable. It's also quite neat and tidy and it's got a bit of color, which means the people who are going to be servicing my payment will remember it. And for the next one, they'll go, ah, oh, again, we know this logo, we know this coloring. So to keep your invoices consistent, you can always add and change things. Just remember to keep note of your invoice numbers and how much it is. Make sure it's accurate at the bottom here, the total, and you're good to go. Point easy. Simply go up to share here, go to download PDF standard, and then download. There you go. That's how to make a nice, simple invoice for your side hustle or business. Thank you so much for watching. Please check around because I've got some other great videos here on my channel. Cheers.